What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Pump and Iron and Puppet Crypto. Come to you in a YouTube video. Here we are in the National Network Worldwide. Sneaky is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you in a YouTube video. All right, all right, all right. Man. Another Thursday. It's already towards the end of the week. February 29th. It's a leap year day. Get it once every four years. Should take a look at my uh, podcast video I posted earlier this morning. I, I flipped the script instead of using doing a podcast midday. I did the podcast first. Got that out of the way. You should check that out. I gives you a, kind of a little bit of a rundown and update on everything that there is going on right now. What's upcoming? All that good stuff. Let's check it out. All right. And so, uh, Shao Bank, another week in Shao Bank. I've been in it since, with a, well, I signed up back in August, <laughs> so I registered back in August, but I didn't actually make my first deposit until November. And then here we are, it's right on the edge of being the end of February, going into March, and still in this thing. Could have been in it for since August if I just made that deposit. But I don't know. I think I lost track or I don't know what it was um, that held me back or I got busy or what. I don't know. Well, yeah, August was pretty busy, though. Yeah, especially beginning of August. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty busy at that time. But, yeah, so, um, you know, we're going to take a look at Shao Bank and see what we got going on. All right. I mean, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase, all right? I mean, yeah, there's all these other, other aspects, lending, deposits, bonds, and uh, digital banking. But, again, um, all these different aspects. The only thing you really want to really hone in on and focus on, if you really want to get into Shao Bank, is the bonds, all right? That's the only thing really to go in and, and talk about and be a part of all right, is the bonds. So there's corporate bonds, which are issued, and we are the bondholders, right? And then what you get out of it is interest or profit that's made from these bonds. So you can see the bonds here. And you get into these bonds just depending on how much money you put into it. So they have different periods of time that you are in these bonds for. And what you average per day. Again, it all depends on how much money you put into it. So for example, um, 8,000 Hong Kong is around 1,000 US. It's, uh, what is it, like 13 cents per dollar U.S. for, um, these, for the, if you do like a translation. So, let's see, 8,000, let me see if I got this right. Divide by 13 cents, oops, 8,000 and 13 cents, yeah, um, yeah, so 8,000, for example, is 1,040 USD. So that gives you an example of what it is. These are our Hong Kong dollars. All right, these are not U.S. dollars. So you had to translate that to U.S. dollars to kind of see which one's worthwhile for you. So, for example, $1,000, you would get 0.7 a day. This is a minimum 1,000. 0.7 a day for three years. All right, so obviously the more money you put in, uh, the higher the rate you get daily, and the terms are shorter, way shorter. So it's up to you on that if you are interested in these sort of bonds. All right, there's eight of them available right now at the moment. They've changed it a couple times already too, where they only had a certain amount available for a certain amount of time. Then after that, 
they're, you know, they go on to the next set of bonds. And so with that, I earned another 308 Hong Kong dollars for the week, which is around 40 bucks, 39.50. And so with that, I've been pulling it out every week. You know, the same thing over and over. So it's been consistent and consistently good. Maybe I should start pulling Bitcoin, huh? Is that a tether for this? Yeah, it's 40 bucks, but 40 bucks is 40 bucks. You know, it could go a long way. Start, I might just start in, in places where they offer Bitcoin withdrawals. If it's offered, I think I'm going to start taking it now. Um, rather than just go to tether, just straight up, if it's offered, like for example, it says here, I could choose Bitcoin. So if that's the case, then I'm going to try to withdraw on Bitcoin, even though it's only like 40 bucks, but shit, I'll take it. So let's see here. I want to try this. So, um, it is what? 308 Hong Kong dollars. So 308 Hong Kong dollars. And if I did it in BTC, that's top up, my bad. Withdraw. Choose payment method. See, it's already locked in on, I wonder if I could pull it out though. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make an attempt. So 308. I don't know even know if there is an option for that. They, they, they hide it down the line, huh? See, what if I did it in Bitcoin? Oh, you need a minimum of 400. I only have 308. So there you go. So I can't do that. I can, but I can't. <laughs> See, minimum of 50 for um, USDT here. So I'll do th the 308 and tether then. So 308 Hong Kong dollars and Tether USDT. Trying to see here. Uh, okay, hold on one sec. All right, so success. I had to do the pause because it would show my account number and and all that stuff for Shell Bank. So I had to take the steps to do the withdraw and then I conducted it. See, so now you just saw it in the corner, it says success, 308 after operation. So it's been conducted. All right, the withdraw. And so 308 would bring me to, um, let's see, 4,900 total withdrawn, 4,900 Hong Kong dollars. All right is what it's that it's going to bring to. So profit or accrual of 308, I would draw 308. And now it's going to make it to 4,900, which is more than halfway what I've deposited. And I'm just going to just continue to just go with the flow, just keep it going and flowing and, and uh, go from there, right? Whatever happens, happens. I just keep, keep it going, you know, because why not? You know, Shaw Bank's been doing pretty good. And haven't really had to uh, do anything crazy just to keep it going. You know, it's it's been a great platform. Uh, I think a little bit under the radar, but you're starting to see more people, especially YouTubers, get on board this thing. Uh, for example, notably, that uh, YouTuber Jamie, uh, Best Passive Income Jamie, he just joined this thing recently, right? And we've been in this thing for a while. So that gives you an idea on, um, you know, people joining and stuff. And it's a good, to me, yeah, it's kind of a, a low yield opportunity, but, you know, that's what it's all about in this channel is all different phases of risk is what we're earning here in all different facets, whether it's high risk, low risk, all kinds of different risk. We just do it because basically 
it's all about this machine, all right? This machine of crypto muscle. We just keep it going and flowing and making it and taking it. The machine doesn't stop. It still continues to roll daily. Now think about it now. Five years straight, rolling. Because we're in multiple platforms. And to me, that's the best way to go. Multiple platforms. I call that true diversification. Because you could go all in on a fake deposit like Marcos. All right. And uh, in the end for him, it won't hurt him one bit if they go away because it's a fake deposit. All right. Um, but we're in multiple. But he claims that, oh, you know, all you need is just one platform. And But shit, think about this for a second. All right. What if that one platform fails because you went all in it in one basket with it? You know what I mean? Like, you got to like keep that in mind that, hey, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't put it all in one basket. I should spread out my risk a little bit instead of putting, you know, $10,000 into one. Maybe I should put 5000 into it. You could put the bulk of it. That's fine. But spread it out a little bit. You know, like really do your research. Look for platforms to spread it out to, you know, maybe do a 5,000 and one and then a thousand and another, a thousand and another, a thousand and another, you know, like take your time spreading it out. That's my true message. And then when you spread it out, um, you know, they're going to earn until they stop earning. You know, and I keep saying it all the time, platforms come, platforms fall, you know, and um, we still keep it going right and the machine continues to keep running right so we see it all the time a lot has failed these last couple of weeks but guess what we're still rolling because we have a lot of platforms right now that we just continue to roll with so shao bang is one of them keep that in mind all right we have we're still in lots of great platforms and that's the most important thing. All right. So a uh, quick reminder, if you didn't watch my podcast earlier, uh, 9X Profit withdrawal days today. Right there, February 29th. All right. So do your withdrawal if you're in it. Because today's the day to do it. Else you got to wait till the 10th. And then on the other end, uh, my other big update is my Telegram group, right? Uh, brought back the chat. So now it's just a matter of uh, growing it back and bringing it back to the promised land that we once had, you know? So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things that, that uh, I wanted to bring back. I just haven't had my chat function in a while because uh, my old one went away. Oh, it's still there, but it's just bad. <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of that one. And this is the new one here, the Power Talk chat. But yeah, look up my link in the description. You'll find how to get into my chat. If you want to chat it up with me or interact with anybody. Um... I'm all about it, all right? So, that's what I'm talking about. And so that's your latest update on everything. I mean, Shao Bank is consistent. It continues to do its thing. <laughs> and uh, that's where it's at with it, you know? And so, uh, again, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm available in the chat all the time. If I'm not, I'll still get back to you. I still... You know, I mean, I always chat and I always answer questions in the chat as well, you know. So, um, that's what it's all about. And subscribe to everything I got. That way you can stay on top of everything we got going on. All right. That way, uh, you know, new stuff, whether it's platforms, music mashups that I like to do, um, just anything in general, you know, nothing's off the table. And so other than that, again, comment down below. I'll see you next one.